Welcome back. The tool that we will cover in this lecture is Night Cafe. So this is another AI art generator tool that is getting really famous and has got some really amazing capabilities, right? Create amazing artworks in seconds using the power of AI. So we will try this AI art generator. Uh, definitely some amazing features. You join a vibrant AI art community, right? A lot of people use Night Cafe and they share with each other. There are communities and uh, you can discuss AI art. You create with friends, you start or join a chat room. There are daily AI art challenges. It's absolutely free to use. Uh, there are daily free credits to use, so definitely free. You can purchase, but this is really cool to have some credits daily. And then there are more algorithms than anywhere else. There are stable diffusion, doll E, uh, the neutral, the neural style transfer. Those are all available on the Night Cafe. And uh, it works even in mobile, in your laptop, in your tablet, anywhere. So uh, you have all of this. And then towards the bottom, there are top creations. There are some daily winners that you can have a look. And then these are some daily bronze winners as well. So really cool uh, people who are creating some awesome stuff. So you see this is one of the winners and has got some really cool images that got generated. High quality and very, very detailed. Beautiful. Coming back, if you scroll down, you'll see some uh, good stuff. You create AI generated art. You join your communities like Facebook, Discord, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, some FAQs around it. And that's it. I think uh, this is uh, what Night Cafe is. So you click on create. Uh, and it has taken the prompt that was there as uh, something that's by default. So I click on done. But this is what the Night Cafe Creator Studio is. And it has got some features. This is an option to create, right? Uh, you know, you can go to advanced mode and have some more details, but this is a general mode. You can choose the algorithm. So this is a stable diffusion. This is a dolly to uh, artistic, coherent, style transfer. You can choose which algorithm do you want, right? And then click on done. Then which model do you want under stable diffusion? As well, you can decide. And then text prompt. So this is what is the most important thing. The text prompt is a place for you to describe in words what you want the AI to create. Again, it has given some really good information. The term garden is good, but lush garden, celestial garden, a big green garden or green garden with red flowers, something that is more detailed and describing to the AI what it exactly you want to make it's definitely better. And then there are modifiers, right? Those are descriptive words in the text prompt. Then there are uh, coherent algorithms. There is our artistic algorithms. You can try multiple prompt sets under the advanced mode. We can have a look at all of that. But we will begin with uh, something very basic. So I have a prompt that is copied. A white woman, black hair, uh, looking sharp, wearing blue snakes on her head and 8k so this is what i am i'm describing and style so uh, what kind of style do you want like a night cafe preset uh, artistic portrait anime 3d i'll go for an artistic portrait and click on done and then finally i click on create but then there are more stuff that is uh, bought uh, below you can create uh, you know if you create just one image there's you do not need any credit so it's free but if you create like four images, there's a like one credit, you create 16 images with four credits. So pretty good. And then there are more settings like the output resolutions. How do you want like a thumbnail, a low resolution, etc. The runtime, uh, if you want uh, to be a long one, you need more credits. Aspect ratio, you can change. Probably I want a widescreen one uh, or mobile, maybe a mobile vertical one. I can choose to you know, fix all of that. So I, my balance is three and this will charge me one credit. Uh, this prompt, I will click on create and I'll wait for my results to appear. So my prompt was white woman, black hair, looking sharp, wearing blue snakes on her head. Wow. 
I think I've got some really good images. Look at that. So it gives you all the four images together and then you can look at all of these individually. You can choose to uh, set as a main image and then this as the final image. And then these are there are different ways you can do. You can probably try to uh, copy the images, uh, you know, enhance the images, uh, download it further. And then these are also the options, duplicate, download, etc. So this was it. Uh, some some beautiful stuff that we can create is definitely present over here. Uh, you can choose. Uh, you know, I will reset this, but you can put up any other prompt and, uh, you know, change the settings and decide uh, what do you want to do. So I'll download this image probably and then it gets downloaded. I'll open it. So this is what I just generated from a prompt. Beautiful, beautiful. You can also choose to upscale it. Uh, do a lot more stuff in the night cafe. Further, you have options over here. Uh, that gives you your history. Uh, you can choose to probably, you know, uh, download all of them or maybe select some creations, uh, you know, and choose whatever you want to do with them. You can submit them to challenge. If you think these are worthy, evolve, maybe enhance or you know, upgrade is what uh, this, this will do. And then you can decide. And then there are, uh, there is a chat option. You can go to a chat room and create some stuff with friends, uh, have a room link or an ID, then just put it over here and do it. Or maybe you can start a new chat. Uh, these are like chat rooms that we remember having in Yahoo, like similar chat rooms. You can give a chat room a name, uh, uh, set yourself a username, agree and start, and then share this link with your friends so that they can join this chat room and you can create designs together. Further, there are some preferences. Uh, you want to use a dark theme or a light theme. You want to retake the introduction, the intro tool, or preferred interference uh, interfaces, Studio One or the old one. So, this is Night Cafe for you. Uh, some really, really awesome stuff. You can choose to, you know, change the model uh, and check. Maybe you know, I can probably paste the same thing. Uh, and change the preset to night cafe itself and then click on one image so that I get one credit because I have only two left so then I, then I click on create and um, I think this will give me some good results. Let's see what results do I get this time because we have changed the algorithm. Hmm. Doesn't work did not work so well the previous ones were definitely better under stable diffusion hmm. i click on done and i'll get rid of this image in front of me uh, again what more is there is your creations that you have just created explore uh, what people are generating and then challenges what uh, night cafe is uh, having so today's challenge and the theme is hearts um, and then there was a no team no theme thursday um, Planets from space, friendly insects, uh, crystal shop, foggy scenes, unicorns, etc. Some really, really good ones. So if you want to look at, uh, you know, what people created under unicorns. So this was the winner. Some really neat and amazing image. And then there were some other uh, people who get going in this challenge and created some awesome stuff. Wow, totally amazing. Uh, indeed, Night Cafe is, and in fact, every other AI tool is. But this was about Night Cafe. And thank you for joining me in this one. And I'll see you in the next one.